Malaria is an acute illness caused by single cell intracellular plasmodium species parasites, most notably Plasmodium falciparum. Plasmodium falciparum is transmitted by mosquitoes into the host bloodstream, infecting and destroying erythrocytes and hepatocytes, which leads to severe disease and sometimes death. In 2016, there were an estimated 260 million cases of malaria worldwide, resulting in 445,000 deaths. Nearly half the world's population is at risk, and 2.7 billion US dollars contributed to anti-malarial efforts in 2016. Infection begins when a sporozoite enters the blood, migrates towards the liver and enters a hepatocyte. Here, replication occurs and merozoites develop and are released, invading erythrocytes. Plasmodium falciparum penetrates into the erythrocytes, forming a parasitophorous vacuole in which the parasite can replicate, protected from host proteases. In the vacuole, the merozoites form an early ring stage structure that develops into a trophozoite. The trophozoite matures into a schizont, which releases merozoites that are able to infect more blood cells. Later stage blood parasites are able to cause adherence of erythrocytes to the microvasculature of the host, causing cerebral malaria. This severe form of this disease is responsible for the highest mortality. The replication cycle takes approximately 48 hours depending on the plasmodium species, and the rupture of erythrocytes and release of merozoites into the blood coincides with the periodic fevers, pain and nausea characteristics of malaria. Destruction of erythrocytes can lead to severe anemia. Around 2% of blood stage parasites will transition to an alternative sexual life cycle and form gametocytes which are taken up by Anopheles mosquitoes during a blood meal. While inside the host erythrocyte, P. falciparum digests host haemoglobin as an amino acid source for replication. Plasmodium metabolizes haemoglobin inside an acidic food vacuole, resulting in a buildup of toxic heme. This process releases ferrous iron containing reactive heme, which is thought to activate the artemisinin class of drugs. The parasite detoxifies heme by incorporating it into a chemically inert hemozoin crystal lattice. Drugs of the chloroquine class target this process of hemozoin formation to cause toxicity and parasite death. Artemisinin-based combination therapies, or ACTs, are very effective but metabolise rapidly, so they need slower, longer-lasting partner drugs like lumefantrine, which targets the multi-drug resistance 1 transporter, PFMDR1. P. falciparum resistance to ACTs has become more widespread, and it's thought that this originated with the parasite ring stages. The blood stages are an area of high selective pressure, meaning drug resistance is more likely. This is thought to occur due to mutations in the K13 protein. It is thought that K13 is involved in regulating the cellular stress response to artemisinin. PFMDR1 is a digestive vacuole membrane-bound transporter, which is essential to multi-drug resistance. Cambodia is a common source of parasite resistance. From there, resistance spreads to Africa, where malaria has a significant effect. A promising drug in its non-clinical phase is a nicely named DDD107498, which we will be referring to as drug DDD here. The estimated cost per treatment is approximately one US dollar, which is significant for poverty-stricken areas where malaria is prevalent. Drug DDD has potent activity against the liver, blood and mosquito stages with high rates of schism killing. Its high bioavailability is another advantage as a possible treatment in resource-poor settings and its long plasma half-life means potential for single-dose treatments. The drug works by inhibiting the plasmodium falciparum translocation elongation factor 2, or simply EEF2. EEF2 mediates the translocation of the ribosome along mRNA during protein synthesis. By inhibiting this process in the parasite, drug DDD causes abnormal trophozoites with a condensed cytoplasm and prevention of schizont formation with up to a 98% reduction in ring formation. This was found in a study of infected human red blood cells in mice. It is proved the drug's mode of action is in the cytoplasm, which is contrary to drugs like tetracycline and azithromycin, whose site of action is in the apicoplast of the parasite. Drug DDD has a good safety profile. There is a reduced risk for adverse heart activity and it's non-mutagenic. 
The different mode of action than the presently used anti-malarial was make it a promising anti-malarial for the future. Drug DDD has been proposed as a longer duration partner to be given with fast-acting compounds and is discoverers aim to enter the clinical trial phase soon. Further research into novel malarial drugs is needed in order to continue to treat and prevent the disease. The mitochondria has been identified as a parasitic organelle with great potential for future drug targeting. Recently, ELQ300 has emerged as a promising candidate. Despite exciting progress into novel therapeutic targets against malarial parasites, the disease remains prevalent and highly detrimental to health and economies. Discovering novel targets is essential to combating resistance and fighting malaria.